Do you think there's some good in NFTs? Yeah, so like NFTs, I think it's retarded, but I'm honestly ignorant about it. And when I think about it more in depth, like people have made a lot of money off NFTs. I think that NFTs are legitimately a good investment probably, but I just think like, it's not like a more, it's kind of like a moral thing where I'm like, it's just too retarded that I don't want to do it, you know? Like, if you could, like, it, like, if you could make, like, a million dollars, right, of, like, from, like, I don't know, licking a piece of paper or something like that. But you, but in order to get the million dollars, you would have to invest 50K. You'd have to pay 50K to lick a paper, and then six months later, you get a million dollars. Even though that would be guaranteed to happen, it's just too stupid. It's just too stupid. Like, it just feels too stupid to do. I don't know what it is, man. Like, NFT art is just too retarded to, like... It probably works, but it's just too retarded, man. Like, it makes me think the human race is fucked, dude. Like, the fact that we've literally gotten to a point in society where these dumb motherfucking monkeys end up... We've literally gotten to a point in life where, like, you can become a millionaire off these stupid-ass monkeys. I'm not jealous. You know, I'm not saying I'm jealous. Uh, it's, it's just weird. It's stupid. These are retarded. Look at these stupid-ass monkeys. And how these fucking monkeys... Like, and it'd be different... Okay, like, if you were getting these NFTs and you're like, this is retarded, but I'm just gonna do it for a quick buck, you know? I think that would be cool. I think that would be badass. But because it's like, yeah, you know this is stupid, but you're just making a quick buck off it. But you know what really gets me is the people who are proud of this shit. Like, I doubt this is like a real tattoo. If this is a real tattoo, this is really sad. But like, wait, who 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 has like an NFT monkey as their profile pic? Like, is, isn't there something like Kanye or something has it? Like, it's like someone fucking has it. Some like fucking rich ass person has it like some fucking stupid like doesn't um fuck uh who has a stupid nft monkey as her profile pic okay i know yeah quobo cop right i was gonna pick a more mainstream celebrity but he's the only one who i can think of these people are like proud of their like they're like, it's one thing to, like, buy an NFT and fucking make money off it and be like, yeah, it's, I, I just fucking, I just fucking made a million dollars off this stupid ass ape. Like, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. That's kind of Sigma, right? But if you're, like, proud of your fucking monkey, like, wow, this is such good art, guys. I'm a proud owner of this monkey. Bitch, you're only get bitch, you're only fucking buying this monkey to get millions of fucking dollars. If this monkey was worth one dollar, you wouldn't get it and make it as your profile picture because you think it's cool. And if you actually do, you're fucking stupid, dude. Like, they're, they're like, proud of it. They're like, damn. L look at this monkey. I'm so fucking proud of this crying monkey. I, I love the blockchain, man. I'm fucking, I love the metaverse, man. NFTs are the future, man. I, I fucking love my fucking shitty monkeys, dude. Wait, what's this? A few months back, I bought my MT Mutant for 17 Ethereum. Floor dropped to 5 Ethereum. I held on harder than Tom Cruise outside a plane. Now the same M2 has recovered and is worth 20 Ethereum. Patience is key. Like, what? They're just ugly, dude. It, see, that's the weird conundrum I have with this. It's like, I'm hating on these people, but I, but they're like making bank. And they're kind of smart. But it just looks dumb. You know, they're making bank, but I feel like they look like clowns. Like, they're, they're making bank at the expense of like looking like Tardos. And I guess that's fine, you know? That's kind of alpha. Like, I don't give a fuck what they think. I'm just going to make bank, you know? But still, like, I don't know, dude, like, 
what really gets me is what how the art looks. The concept of NFT is fine. Whatever, dude. I can get over that. It's kind of stupid. It's a PNG. It's a fucking code on a fucking block that you own. I think it's Tardo, whatever. You know, that's fine. I uh, But people compare it to, like, you know, the art uh, community, where it's like, you can, you know, the Mona Lisa is worth, like, billions of dollars, but, like, at the end of the day, it's just a picture, you know. You know, you can make that argument, which I guess you could, like, correlate to NFTs. But the difference is that art looks good. This art looks like fucking garbage, dude. This shit looks ugly. And why do they all have, like... And, like, real art doesn't have this, like... Like, I feel like this isn't art for the sake of art. This is art for the sake of money, right? Like, they don't care how good it looks. It kind of ruins, like, the arti artistic integrity, right? Like, the reason you would get, like, the Mona Lisa or, like, a, a cool art thing for your wall or whatever that's expensive or cool or, or trade it is because it looks cool, it's art, it's creative, you know? And I'm not just saying this because they're ugly. You know, some people can think these monkeys are fucking beautiful. But what really gets me about it is that they're all, like, the same. Like, they all... No, they're not all the same, but you, they all have the same format, you know? They have the exact same ear shape, the exact same position, the exact same, you know, nose and stuff. It's like a format. Like, you know that this is a bored ape. This isn't just a unique ape that someone made. This is a bored ape yacht club thing, you know? And... It, it shows me that, like... They're not making this to be to be creatively artistic. They're making this to be like a Pokemon card, you know? Like I mean even Pokemon have like unique designs between each other, right? Like even though it like falls into a particular format. This is like it's less of art and more of a you know, like a trading card or something like that. Art is subjective, but this is garbage, yeah. I guess my opinion on these NFTs are really complicated. I should just take what I said right now and kind of use it as a pseudo script for a video. I, I will make a video on the NFTs. Promise, here's a promise, here's a promise right to the camera. This year, sometime this, no, not this year, sometime this month. That's what I meant to say. This month in January, I will make an NFTs or retarded video. I'll specifically talk about Bored Apes. Because, like, I'm not against the concept of NFTs in general. Like, Edwin has given me a lot of examples of cool ways NFTs could be used in video games or whatever. But what I'm specifically talking about are the Bored Ape or NFTs. Or NFTs in general, but specifically the Bored Apes and the Lions and those ugly... They're ugly! Why are all NFTs ugly? They're just retarded. And then when, like, people show them off, like, this is my you know, monkey or whatever. I, I think, in my head, it's like they're, like, special needs kids fucking showing their little, like, show and tells, dude. Like, like they're all getting their, like, backpacks off in kindergarten, and this is like, I have the Ninja Turtles backpack, and it's way cooler than uh Stephanie's Barbie backpack, and I have really cool crayons in it. That's what it's... When he the, when people show off their monkeys, that's how I see, like, the adult version of that. These guys, like, how are real adults making real money, making real livings, making millions, livings, off of this shit? Now, the stock market, making a living off the stock market, in general, I already think is kind of retardo and is tardo and insane. Some somehow makes sense with capitalism, whatever. I don't know the, the the intricacies, but the fact that you can like own fictional pieces of a company and then and then sell them or whatever, it's just weird. It's just weird. Crypto is another stuff. Weirdo, all these fake currencies, you own them, you sell them. It's weird. It's weird. It doesn't make sense. You can make money off it. And by the way, I do have money invested in stocks. I do have money invested in crypto. So I'm being said somewhat hypocritical, but the the concept behind it just seems so weird because it's like fictional, right? It, it, like, it doesn't exist physically. And it's just, like, a concept. Like, you're owning a concept. It's just weird. It's just weird. Um, although, it's not owning a concept with crypto. It's owning a code. And same with NFTs. But you, you get what I'm saying, right? 
But then it's another fucking step weirder with the NFTs, and it just gets to a, to a point where I'm, I just think it's tardo. I just think it's stupid. Financially, it's probably smart, but... Man, I forgot what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. I was building up to something, and I completely forgot with that stock shit. I, I was, like, building up to it, and I completely forgot. But... Like, you're... People are making legit money off ugly monkeys. Like, it's just, like, such clown world, dude. It's like, what... Like... When you think about civilization in general, civilization, right? You would think that monetary uh, work is valued on a monetary system in capitalism, right? And you would think that, you know, the harder jobs are give you the more money. Like, let's say, you know, making a burger at McDonald's is obviously going to give you less money than helping to construct a building because constructing a building is significantly harder than putting two buns between a patty. But meanwhile, in this weird reality that we live in, which is a reality I love, by the way, and I totally take advantage of by being a YouTuber, by the way. This is completely hypocritical. I totally take advantage of this by being a YouTuber, making so much when, like, other people doing physical labor makes nothing. But my point is, in current society... These people trading around ugly monkey pictures are making more or more valued, monetarily more valued than someone building a fucking skyscraper, dude. A fucking, this monkey PNG is worth more than your entire house. Some monkeys are worth more than your fucking entire house. Your entire house, your physical space that you live in is so useful. You can put a table in it, you can put a computer in it, you can live in it. It's a, it gives you warmth, it gives you shelter, it's... You can put a fridge in it, you can put all of that, your house plus all the stuff in it is not, in society, is worth, valued less than this stupid fucking orange crying monkey, dude. It's fucking dumb. It is dumb. We're living in clown world, dude. NFTs are cringe. They're dumb. The monkeys are retarded. It's retarded. And everybody who... <laughs> And the fact that the, and then the, uh, okay, it's retarded, right? It's retarded. It's retarded, right? But on top of that, the thing that gets me even more is that people who are into it, they're proud of it. Like, okay, if there was a guy being like, lol, I just made a million dollars off this monkey. Isn't this so retarded? This is so, this is so funny. Everybody do it. I can't believe I'm living in this world where I can make money out off of monkeys. It's so fucking funny. Let's go, boys. Let's go make that back. If someone was doing that online, I would be way more fine with it, right? <laughs> but these people act like super serious about their monkeys, you know? They're like, I just got the bored ape. 2251 and it is my greatest accomplishment in life. I am so proud of this monkey. I am putting it as my profile picture. I am I I love my NFT. Oh my god, it is so great. I have so much respect for the art and like why they take it seriously, dude. It, it's it's just cringe and I know they're being fake. It's like this LA like fake bullshit, you know? Like, it, like, I feel like the NFT crypto bro community, like, w with the board apes in particular and stuff like that, is so... It, it invokes the exact same vibes as, like, fake LA, like, bullshitters, dude. Like, you know when people are, like, fucking showing off their monkeys that they really don't fucking think it's cool. They really don't care, you know? Like... Um, like... I don't know. Like, these are just promoting the NFTs, but where, where's, like, a tweet where FaZe Banks is saying, like, that NFTs are, like, fucking epic or some shit? He, he's, like... Because a lot of these are... Hmm. Wait, he, like, barely tweets, bro. I don't know. I, I don't... I can't find it right now, but, like, I do see people, like legitimately like flaunting their nfts and are like it's so good it's so good and also when their entire profile just turns into talking about nfts right like phase banks content creator you know 
His entire Twitter feed is just about NFTs. Like, how many people, like, actually relate to this shit? It's so unrelatable, too. They're like, dude, I just made this much money off my NFTs. Am I right, boys? It's like, this is so fucking unrelatable. Like, who the fuck? Okay, yeah, do any of you guys have, like, an example of, like, an NFT crypto bro that I can just, like, meme on real quick? Is NFT Jesus, like, an actual person? Uh, Adam22. Let's see. Is Adam22 crypto bro? Okay, he's not, because he has his... He has his... Pro oh, no! At you guys, you're trolling me. Guys, you're baiting me. I can't put Adam22 on Twitch. Are you kidding me? That's fucking porn, dude. Um, where's, like, a really retarded crypto... I mean, oh, look at this guy here. The guy I just retweeted. I don't know. I guess I'm just shitting on a perfectly valid hobby that makes tons of money and, like, uh, you know. It, it seems like maybe some of my anger is coming as a place of jealousy. Honestly, at the end of the day, I don't, you know. If someone buys a fucking monkey, I'm not losing sleep at night. I just think it's so funny. We're just in this fucking... We're in this reality where people are, like, cherish... It. Like, the, this is worth more than gold to people, dude. Like, this... This ugly ass monkey, and it just seems so childish. Like they're, they're just trading. It's like, okay, I'm opening MS Paint. It's like you're a kid, right? Like imagine this, right? Imagine the scenario. This is how I see it, right? You're a father of a kid who is at kindergarten, and in kindergarten they make this drawing. You know, wait, what? Why is it like? So they make this drawing, you know, they scribble it in, you know, they scribble in the sky. They make, they make a, they make a funny house, you know, with the door, the windows, right? And they have them. Or they draw you and them, and they're like, "Yay! This this is our family." You know, you know the the traditional drawing that you would see. You know, that a a every fucking kid eventually draws. Like, this is me and daddy at our house. You know, this drawing, right? And then imagine so that your daughter makes this, and then you take this image, and you put it onto the network chain, and everybody's trading it and selling it for like millions of dollars, and you have people like this actually like like you have people like fucking phase banks being like so we have this but then let's let's shrink this right so the here's the drawing wait why can't i shrink this here we go so this is a drawing the daughter made and this is like phase banks and he's like Merry fucking Christmas, everyone! Just brought this new NFT, man! Super cool! Just got it for $24,000, and I'm giving one of them to you! T retweet and tag your friends, man! Good luck! This is a fucking great deal, dude! A a and it's this. That's how I see it, dude! That's how I see it! These drawings have no artist- uh, It's just- That's how I see- That's how I see it! You guys understand? This is how I see it. Finally, I get to see what Boblox looks like in ha real life. Hell yeah, dude. What is up? Restart art account. Yeah, that's... that. Okay, this artwork isn't bad. This artwork isn't bad. It's a bad example. I was more using it for the text. Let's, you know... I don't know. Let, let's use this one. Let's use this one, for example, right? This is a better example. So he has this, and, and he, like, int he introduces this new drawing. He's like... This is my family. About two months ago, I bought this family. Since then, he has doubled in value. And I love my family, and I'm never selling them. Wait, yeah, this is cringe! He's never selling it! He's never selling it! Why? You just bought- wait. He's doubled in value. Wait, you bought this for 36 Ethereum. Obviously, Ethereum itself fluctuates in value, too. But what- oh, Let's see, EHC to USD. Obviously, like, it, it fluctuates in value, right? But can I, like, type, put in, like, how much that is? 
Like, can I actually like con convert? Okay. How much is it? Ethereum? What, what did he say? 36 Ethereum. What? $134,000 for this monkey. $134,000, dude. And he's on, he's never selling it. He loves a stupid monkey. It's so dumb, dude. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. NFTs are bad, brave take. Nick, you missed my whole fucking rant, dude. You missed my entire rant. I said it's probably a good financial investment, but the fact... I'm just saying, it, it's just cringe. It's just weird. It's weird. These people are attached to these ugly ass monkeys that cost so much. It's just weird. It's weird. It's so unrelatable. It's weird. It's foreign. It's alien. It's crazy. It's crazy. The. Which. I, how long have I been? I've been ranting about this for like 20 minutes, dude. <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. <clears throat> it, it's just weird. It's like a mind fuck kind of. It's like, it, not in the sense that it's worth so much money. Like, I get that. It's This is just a prop that is being used to, like, pump value in and out of it. Like a stock or, like, a like a, a cryptocurrency or something like that. Like, I understand the concept behind it. And I'm not saying it's, like, crazy that they're worth so much money or whatever. It's just crazy to me that they're ugly. Th th this is what's crazy to me. That they're ugly. These monkeys, in particular, are ugly as fuck, and then people pretend that th they're cool. Like, I love my ape and I'm never selling them. If this tweet read, this is my stupid-ass ape, bought the shit for a bunch of money, and now it's doubled in value, lol, I can't wait to sell this at a million and make bank off this and make millions of dollars. If that was the tweet, I would be fucking down, dude. But these people pretend that, like... These monkeys are, like, so fucking valuable. Like, they're so art there's so much artistic integrity behind these monkeys. Like, oh, my ape. I love it, you know. And if it, if it was, like, real art, you know, like, like, I don't know. I mean, the same argument has been made about modern art. Like, modern art, if you go to, like, modern art exhibits, people have been like, this looks poopy all the time. Like, let's see. Modern art gallery. Because, like... Some modern art's, like, cringe. Because isn't it just, like, like, splotches and shit all over the place? I mean, like, bruh. Oh, some of this is actually cool. But, like, bruh, there's, like, paint splotches kind of in the shape of fish. Like, actually, a lot of this is really fucking good. But, like, there's been modern art which is, like, a toilet. And it's, like, modern art. You know, I don't know. Wait. Dumbest... Modern, wait, what? Why can't I type it? Dumbest modern art. But I'm not shitting on NFTs because, oh, it's cool, it's hip. You know, it's hip. Wow, brave take. Like, as an except, wow, brave take. Wow, brave take. NFTs are bad. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying they're bad for the environment. That's not my take. My take is that's just dumb! And if that's a popular take, so fucking be it. It's my take, dude. And I'm not having it because it's popular. I just think they're fucking dumb, dude. It's just, it's just silly. It's just silly. And it's interesting that it's silly, in a sense. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, like this. Like this, dude. It's like, it's like when people complained about, like, modern art. Yeah, like, it, it's like, it's like this. Like, ridiculous painting sold for millions. Red blood, untitled, and it's just scribbles. White, fire eye. You're just crazy, you know? And I understand why it, it's for trading, but, like, the, uh, here, here it is. The concept behind trading something like art or NFTs is that once you pawn it off enough times eventually someone will want it. So eventually someone will buy it. Like for example, Quo Pop will buy it just to keep it and to see the value go up and be like, Oh, I have such a valuable thing. And they, and they legitimately like it and they want to keep it. They're not, they don't have it to flip it. Right. 
Why would you pay millions? So I get paying millions to flip it. That's base. That's Chad. But paying millions just to own this and then flaunting it on Twitter. Like. I feel like they're lying to themselves. I feel like it doesn't make it. I know art is in the eye of the beholder, but it doesn't make sense. I feel like they're lying to themselves. I feel like they're lying to themselves and they're lying to us, just like LA YouTubers in general with a lot of the stuff they do. You know, that fake vibe you get from LA YouTube. I feel that is like so embodied in the NFT art community. To, to, it's like, you can't really think this is art. Like, you can't really think this is like the coolest thing to ever grace the face of the earth. Like... It, it, <sighs> I guess maybe, I don't know. It's retarded, you know, people can, you know, people can say that like, Hey, art's in the eye of the beholder, whatever. I get it. Logically, it all makes sense. Logically, it all lines up. Logically, I'm wrong. Logically, I'm wrong, but emotionally looking at this shit, it, it just, it just feels like they're fucking lying to themselves. Maybe they're not. I don't fucking know. I just bought this hashtag board ape, you know, you know, you know, yeah, it's just, yeah, but that's my NFT rant. That is my NFT rant. That'd be a cool debate to have, you know, cause like, I'm not mad that this exists. I just think it's funny and I think it's funny to be mad at it. Like, this is so retarded. It's such a funny punching bag, too. It's so fun. Like, I'm in a way, I'm glad these NFTs exist and these NFT bros exist because, like, I just love fucking calling them. Like, it's just so dumb, dude. Come by our pretty average Game Boy Gang NFTs. And then I can just call them retarded. It's just so funny. It's so good. I love it. I love it. Okay, that's it for my rant. <laughs> my fucking voice hurts, dude. God damn. God dang. God dang. NFTs are bad. Brave take, Bo Black. Man, shut the fuck up. Fat fucking Diorio. Man. Shut the hell up, dude. Anyone want this new NFT? Wait. I'm about to sell this one, dude. I'm about to save this one and sell it, dude. See, this has some value behind it because it's like from the NFT rant from Bo Blacks, right? To own some of this. I'm putting this one on the market, bro. Modern art, not NFTs, is an interesting topic because they might look ridiculous, but most popular of them have logical backup on why they are painted like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's interesting. I don't know. I have a weird, like, conflicted take on NFTs, which, like, in my head, I know it makes sense. I know why people do it, and I can't blame them. I'm kind of with them, like, yeah, you're making money off stupid art. But at the same time, the fact that they, like, pretend it's so... They, like, pretend it's great art, and it's like... It's just so cringe. And, it, like, because it's either they're being disingenuous or they're just retarded. Like, it's one or the other. It's just so fucking funny. I don't know. What was I going to do again? My fucking mind is just so fucking scatterbrained right now. I am, like, full ADHD mode. Dylan Burns TV followed your channel 30 minutes ago. Let's go. Dylan Burns followed me. Hell yeah. I hope you listened to that full rant. It'd be interesting to have a debate with someone about this, but the thing is, like, my take is so, like... Like, my take is that, like, I disagree with myself. Like, logically, I disagree with how I feel about them. But, like, I still feel that way, you know? I don't fucking know. I don't know, man. <sighs> 